And welcome back, everybody, to the Dark Horse Experience. Uh, we'd like to, again, welcome uh, our third leg, uh, Christine. <laughs> Princess Christine. Christine! Christine! He's finally back, and we are excited. Look who we found. Yeah, we found him in a bush. Uh, he was petting a donkey. We don't know why. It doesn't it make sense to us either. I know. <laughs> I am so sorry. I tried to make it best I could, but the jackass kept me behind. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. Well, you missed a bunch. What's about today? Yeah, yeah we all right, yeah. We all missed you. Oh, wow. I'm glad. Oh. I'm very glad. I know I watched your guys' videos and uh that was pretty entertaining. Uh another shout out to Casey for uh taking our spot. So I mean that was pretty awesome. Oh, and and uh definitely well, having Well not our spot. That was your spot. Yeah, it was my, spot, my spot, my spot, my bad. So yeah, and she <laughs> filled in perfectly, and that was really cool. So um, thank you again, and uh, we can't wait to have some more people there. Uh, you're welcome, Christian. Very, very we soon. we were working while you were out there playing with some donkey. Uh, we well, I oh, was dude. I was so working. Sorry. I was working. I, a you lot. worked a lot, a lot harder <laughs> than I did. Yeah, you, you we brainstormed there. a lot. Oh yes, and so uh, yeah. Christian, what do you think about my new background? I love the background, man. Like, especially with Avengers: Infinity War coming out, right. um, Deadpool just coming through. Captain Marvel is now. I'm sorry, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the uh, Avengers: Infinity War, um, but super stoked about it, and uh, and I can't wait to go ahead and um, hell yeah, you know, just kind of see that oh, that go oh, through. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. Well, we've got they because they already announced um, um, that okay. we've got. Ant Man and um, oh, what's her name? Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm brain farting. Ant Man's second movie is going to be coming out. Um, Wasp. Yeah, Ant Man and Wasp. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Um, and so that's going to be taking place at I believe it's during. I believe the timeline is during Infinity War. So when all that Infinity War stuff is going on, right. Ant Man's doing his own thing with Paul Rudd, uh, whom I love to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh oh absolutely also what else was announced there was another one that was announced as well so ant-man and probably could have looked that up but yeah there was another one you, that was supposed to come out have. yeah so and then well, obviously not. they're going to be doing infinity war part two and if you haven't seen the first one then you shouldn't oh, yeah. see the second one because it's not going to make any sense to you so i haven't seen the second no. one they, so, they haven't made the second for me they haven't even made or the first one. I'm sorry. I haven't seen the <laughs> I'm look, there's so many sequels and prequels and yeah. I haven't seen it yet. So don't ruin it, yeah. please. And if you haven't seen Black Panther, don't see Infinity War yet. You have to see Black Panther first. Well gone yeah, I'm yeah, gonna have to have a, a marathon weekend. For real. Oh absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen uh, Deadpool either, but I heard Deadpool yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen Ryan Deadpool Reynolds, too yet. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, but I'm that excited like for that, that one just came out, so I might go see it next right. week. We'll see. Right. Yeah. Maybe me yeah, and the absolutely. woman are gonna go have a, a movie date. Maybe there you we'll go. maybe oh. be a two for. Hell yeah! Yeah, we should. Absolutely. We're gonna go see Deadpool. Hell yeah! We can talk about that next week. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about uh, how that's gonna incorporate with the entire comic book hero movies so speaking of what we need to talk about uh how about tonight's topics yes you guys want to fill them in sure yeah so uh tonight we're going to do a segment of what we like to call bottle caps mm -hmm. okay. yeah. uh christian would you like to explain what bottle caps is so bottle caps uh for the new audience that hasn't really gotten to see our last videos um, bottle caps going to be basically talking about, uh, maybe, maybe alcohol or maybe beer, but probably more than likely is going to be beer. Um, just cause it's more of a, a variety for us to talk about basically the little taste, um, the companies that make it. And, uh, maybe if we can, a little bit of history of, uh, of the background of the brewery and, um, and sure. you know, just kind of some flavors to try out, you know, check them out, see what you think. Um, and you know, especially with the craft beer industry kind of exploding, you know, this is definitely a time to hop on and enjoy it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be excited to talk a little bit more about that. Hell yeah! Uh, I'm 
I'm excited as well. We're also going to do a uh, a feel good fluff. It seems we've heard a lot of feedback from that, and it seems like that's a favorite. Oh yeah, Thanks. Thanks. Jeff's not prepared for feel good fluff tonight. So uh, oh, you got to ruin already, it for everybody. He's, he's, prepared, he's, already, he's prepared to be the audience member. He's excited. You didn't have to do it all. No, yeah, he I don't have to have do it all. Her. No, all right. Someone's <laughs> someone has a brown nose tonight. I even went. Uh, we're also going to do a little story from what happened to me this past Sunday. Yes, which I have oh, yet yeah. to hear, so it is all new to me. Christian knows all about it because we talked almost after it happened. But it has been a struggle for me to keep it a secret from Jeff for how many days? Not three days? Four days? <laughs> yeah, what's, days. what day is it today? <laughs> nah, I don't even know. Yeah, it's just been about three days. And then, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be pretty exciting. And then we're also gonna do uh, a Black Ops thing. Well, that'll be the our next video. Next, yeah, that'll be oh, that's that's yeah. gonna be not next week, but our next video. So that'll two, be right. until, yeah. So yeah. we're doing yeah, we're doing a two for tonight. So uh, please make sure that you guys are tracking up on that and um, yeah. and enjoying this video. And then we're going to be doing kind of a like a little sub video about the new Black Ops game that's coming out here soon on Xbox and uh, and PS4. And we're super excited to be able to talk about that. So please make sure that you review and listen. Oh, yeah, we, we also yeah. we also have one more segment, and this is going to be the first ever first ever first segment ever. of what ifs. I'm what excited. ifs? Yeah, yo. What ifs? I'm really excited about that too. So yeah, we're, we're throwing up new topics and Hey, please audience. Uh, if you have anything that you're interested in kind of listening about, um, want to hear, want to talk about, you know, and, uh, and want to know more of, please, uh, shoot it down to the comment section of our uh, video and we're more than happy to kind of research it and throw it in the video. And we'll also do a shout out to you. So please make sure that you guys are throwing that out. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do that. All right. So let's, uh, Let's just start out. We want to start with. Let's start with that feel good fluff because I want to hear what Christian's been up to and why he practically oh, abandoned okay. us for two weeks. Two whole weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gone for twelve days. I was gone for twelve days. So I mean, um, uh, if you haven't, again, if you haven't got to watch uh, all our videos, um, I'm in the uh, I'm active duty U.S. Navy. So I've been in the Navy for about twelve years, well, eleven years now, and um, and so I, I'm in and out. I'm in and out. I'm just t- now stationed on the uh, USS George H.W. Bush. It's a uh, carrier right out of Norfolk. And um, so we did a really big deal type of uh, history um, that that happened in the last cu- couple weeks. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So we're uh we're going through a training cycle and we we do a lot of um a lot of training with through the uh through the navy and even uh, marines um you know we we do a lot of flight operations and uh and set them up so for the first time we act the george bush actually went and uh trained up with the french navy right so with the french navy and you know the ships do training cycles and all that kind of stuff that's not uh that's not um uh that's not at all kind of out of the regular but this time we actually brought the jets like their f-18 style jets we brought them on the ship and they actually was were doing takeoffs and uh recoveries on our ship recovery period, for and that's the first time that that's happening yeah. recovery for yeah, people recovery that don't the, know uh, is when the they jets. land in case you don't understand right exactly <laughs> absolutely land and launch yeah yep um you know and uh and it's it's a huge deal so the whole point behind this is we're training them into our own style of um of takeoffs and landings of how we're able to operate and we're pushing that out to our alliance so that way we're able to start doing what um, the Secretary of Defense is trying to do is uh, create that rotation through not just different ships like we've been normally doing for the U.S. Navy, where, you know, one carrier always has to have their presence out there. We're actually trying to rotate rotate that in with the French. So because the French have aircraft carriers, too. So um, we're really excited about that. because that mean? That means that we get to actually have troops stay home. We actually have, get yeah. to be able to spend time more with our families, and we don't have to be deployed out. That is 
that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. Awesome. I mean, if, if most people don't know, it takes 6,000 people to deploy on a U.S. carrier. 6,000 people. So think about your hometowns that you're living in and what you're able to go and actually uh, – and, and what you do, like the people that you see. Imagine that entire town being out to sea and away from their families, like yeah. every single person. It's a big deal. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like a, it's feel good fluff. Deal. That's, oh, yeah. that's freaking awesome. Yeah. And uh, – and I was super excited to be a part of that. And um, and the French Navy was killer. I was I was super enjoying enjoyable about that. Everybody was really thankful for what they learned, and we learned a lot from them. So hell yeah, um, yeah. Thank did you. They, Shout out to the French Navy. That was pretty cool. Uh, did they have beer <laughs> on the ship? <laughs> not not uh not when not on our ship. No. We don't allow that. That's no, not right. on yours. On on the so, French. On the on the French. No, ship. they only drink wine and yeah. bread. And some cheese. Now they'll. They, that, that's it. They yeah. don't even have nothing else. They don't drink water. <laughs> no monster. It's, just, wine. it's yeah. just you want monster, then you can just have white wine. But uh, no, they uh, they they do that on their ship, and and I've I've gotten to check out a few different um other uh, militaries navies before. You know, I was on a Belgian ship. I got to pull them in uh, when I was on uh, Little Creek several years ago, and we walked through their ship, and they had beer like set up in their lounges and chocolate like no shit it was it was funny but it was good ass beer and it was good yeah, chocolate I so you know, i was beer. pretty jealous about that yeah it was it was killing super good. yeah so it, it was it was neat though it was really uh it was really cool french were probably a little bummed because there were not there was no alcohol on the ship but right. yeah, well. you know i'm sure that they enjoyed the uh, <laughs> experience well, they enjoyed awesome. the company, that's for sure. Little well, Christian was just showing them around. It's awesome. Congrats to the yeah. Military. So I really, I wasn't in a bush with a donkey. <laughs> yes, he was. But but, yeah, he was. <laughs> but that 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 is uh that's my cover story. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely donkey bush for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hashtag donkey bush. I like it. Hashtag donkey bush. <laughs> Jeff, can we show cool. it right here? But, yeah. You want me to put it tiny in front of your face? Sure. Can, can we do it? Like, do right. It. Just really tiny so people can't read it. How about I put it better? right there? Right here? No, I'll put it down right. here. here. No, definitely Wait, not well, putting you, it there. Like, way down? Yeah, it's going to be down here. All right, fine. We'll, we'll get. Can we get a ding just for fun? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Jeff. Jeff, do you, do you have a feel-good fluff story? Do I? Hashtag spoiler alert. We already said you don't. Yeah. Great job. Great job on keeping up with what's going on. Uh, yeah. I had a very itchy eye, so I was scratching that. Oh. Uh, but now it feels good. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's called karma. Feel, feel good fluff. Yeah. Feel good uh, okay. So I, I do actually have a feel-good fluff story for you. Tell it. I'm super uh, excited. The it, and I'm gonna let you know. Hashtag spoiler alert. This is a tearjerker. It's, it's gonna make you tear up. Okay. So, uh, I'm, my best. I'm sorry. What? I'm trying my best not to tearjerk. Okay. Don't. Please don't. I can't. I can't do it under this pressure. Uh, topic: When fallen officer's son asked for someone to take him to school, he's shocked to see 70 cops waiting. Dang. Now this is this has to do with the the female officer that passed away. That lost. No, 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 no. That's. No, this this is something completely different. Okay. Different story. Okay. So let me let me jump into it. Um, it's been a little over two weeks since Dakota Pitt's father died in the line of duty earlier this week. Uh, Just two weeks, but then it says earlier this week. Uh oh, earlier this week he returned to school for the first time since the incident. Thankfully, the five-year-old boy didn't have to go alone. So it goes on and on, but uh, long story short, this kid asked his mom if one of his dad's friends could go to, like, take him to school. Because that's what his dad used to do, uh, yeah. from what I believe. Okay. And I don't know how it happened, but 70 cops caught wind of this and all showed up to his school. And they, like, lined up. I wish I could show you a picture, but they all lined up in front of the door and like clapped him in and like they all told him like we have your back that's awesome could you imagine what that kid felt like and how badass that kid felt like rolling up to school one cop here comes 69 more just lined up like 
that's, that's awesome. a kid you don't want to mess with in the future. <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. Oh yeah. Yeah, th- this kid has an entire police force on his back. <laughs> like he's yeah. totally, totally supported. That is, that's so killer, man. That's what I'm talking that's about awesome. when it comes to community and being able to be there for your family, be there for your friends, and especially, you know, his dad doing such an honorable job and, you know, making the ultimate sacrifice, you know, that's freaking killer, man. That's so <laughs> it, awesome. Where was that? And also, uh, you know where that was at? Uh, it all, uh, I'll get there. I, I eventually will get there. It was in Indiana, and Indiana. I can't pronounce the uh, the little town or county it's from. But uh, in attendance were seventy police officers, SWAT members, and deputies. Hmm. So he had a range of yeah, badass man. people that you just don't right. want to mess with. Hell yeah, yeah, he yeah, had the full tank. That's a killer, man. Well, that's awesome. Shout out to Indiana. That's how you do business, and that's how you take care of people. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like humanity does, yeah. is still alive. So that's killer. That's awesome. right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So uh, cool, Jeff. Jeff, did you? Did well, you... Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about bottle caps. Are we are we down for bottle caps now? Uh, I would love to be. I would actually like a beer while we do this. So if you guys would like to start, I'm gonna. I don't know. Can you read this? Can you, can... BRB need a beer. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Jeff, like it. so BRB. can you got, I mean, please, by all means, start this. I'm going to grab a beer real quick. But if you'd like, can you put that picture right there while I'm away? Sure. Uh, but yeah. I got you. I got you. I, I don't trust you at so, this, but. I got you. Mm-hmm. Probably going to be. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll, be right, I'll be right back. I need a beer. Uh, all right. Beer. Go get a beer. So, to start out with bottle caps. You never know how long I want to do that. All right. Um, so, I have <laughs> in my possession, it's out of New Holland Brewing Company. Uh-huh. It's called Dragon Milk. New Holland. And I thought it sounded great, it's so Dragon I wanted to try it. It's a bourbon barrel aged, aged stout can't talk today um right. now new holland brewing company is um was created back in 1997 it's out of michigan i'm looking for the yeah. town that it's out of uh let's see i know it's here somewhere oh poop that's what i get uh but it is out of michigan so you're looking at uh midwest beer great stout awesome taste um when it first kind of hits you like when you take that first yes. sip, that first sip, it is, it could be strong. Yeah. So if you're not used to, like, um, if you're not used to a bourbon barrel stout, I wouldn't recommend this uh-huh. as the first one, because okay. it might be a little overbearing. If especially if you don't know if you like it yet, uh, you probably don't want to go because this is going to be a, a more aggressive stout. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't okay. do that as your first try. It, it, like if you want to try one, I wouldn't recommend that one as your first one, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Right. Um, just because it is strong, but it has a great flavor, uh, super rich, um, and you could really you really get the bourbon barrel that really flows through, and it comes through it super smooth. So I highly recommend Dragon's Milk if you like bourbon barrels, uh, bourbon barrel stouts. This is a fantastic choice. Heck yeah. I actually and that's from New Holland. Yep, New Holland that's Brewing New Company. Holland. That's freaking killer. Hell yeah! Awesome, awesome. 30, 30 years running. Uh, you said they were out in nineteen. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Twenty years. Yeah, right? nineteen ninety seven. Yep. Twenty years running. So that's that's awesome. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. They're I'm out a, of I'm Holland, a Michigan. Bourbon Barrow too. Hell yeah! Holland. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I've Holland, Michigan. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, and this one is 11% alcohol by volume, by the way. 11%? Yeah, yeah. normally the bourbon barrel has that stronger uh, ABVs, like they, you know, that, um, yeah, that's that's definitely killer. You don't don't need nearly as many of those in order to catch a decent buzz as well. It's just to be able to enjoy that taste. I mean, it's, I I mean, it has a ton of flavor. It would taste weird, right? 
Yeah, yeah but... it, it would taste weird if it didn't have enough alcohol in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yes and no. Most most bourbon barrels that I've tried are usually between 7 and 9. They don't normally go into like that double digit. Uh-huh. Uh usually the double digits like if you're looking for like a higher yeah. higher alcohol volume, a lot of times IPAs will reach that. Like when you start getting into double and even some a lot of triples yeah. will go into that higher alcohol content. Um but then again, yeah. if you don't like IPAs, then like right. Josh over here, uh then you know it's it, it, dude it's not that i don't like them it's that they give me indigestion and heartburn they make my tum tums not feel so great <laughs> so i mean it's it's a it's Wait, a fantastic josh, josh likes to... oh oh bye christian bye christian See you later guys talk shit so... <laughs> get muted <laughs> right. he gets booted uh well that's great <laughs> that's awesome oh sorry for the technical difficulty folks oh, oh look back. yeah see this is what yeah. we have to deal with now you know it might be a special guest it now might be know. a spe- <laughs> we don't know yet we, we might be shocked Let's see we could be shocked <laughs> or we could be sitting here all night long uh this is what we have to deal with folks oh man that's funny true story we we do we deal with this guy every day and all of the big black book of excuses this kid yep. gives of course, Watch, I guarantee he's going to blame his internet tonight. Right. I'm sorry, sorry, man. It sucks. <laughs> I really got to upgrade it. He's He's been telling us, just so you guys are aware, he's been telling us that he wants to upgrade his internet for five, two years, six years. It was, well, has, no, it been, it's, has it only been two years? It's only been two. Okay. It's uh, recently, yes. <laughs> but I mean, we've heard that it we've feels... heard this ever since we've known him. We've. Oh, that's oh, funny. Oh, nope. See, nope. he didn't even want to come in. No. Nope. Apparently, it says he lost connection. Oh, I'm sure he did. Uh, put that in a little black book. So, let me continue. Uh, I'd heard a little bit about yours. Sorry. I needed a beer. Yep. I didn't feel right no. talking about beers sure. and not having one. I feel you. No, I was, uh, I was talking about uh, New Holland's, uh, New Holland Brewing's com- Brewing Company. What is going on with me today? Um, their Dragon Milk, which is their bourbon barrel aged stout. I was just telling them that um, it is a fantastic beer. Fantastic. But it is on the stronger side. So I wouldn't recommend it if somebody's never tried a bourbon barrel stout before. I wouldn't recommend it as their first one uh, because it is pretty aggressive. Oh, maybe we're going to get another uh, guess. Oh, there it is. Hey. Hey. You made it. (laughs) Uh, I'm sorry. What? We didn't hear that. It's happening this weekend. I'm I'm tearing up this entire deck back here. I'm gonna rip the whole thing out. I don't care. <laughs> Hashtag two Jeff. Years. Jeff. Hashtag two years. Got it. In the making. Thank you. Two so, years of me having shitty internet. I had shitty internet even before then. Like the last yeah, time yeah, I had good internet was like you, you my re- 400 square foot apartment. Like four years ago. Yeah. I told you it was like four or five years. <laughs> You're right. I, well, I mean, recently, how many since uh, he moved great. into this past house, though? He's been there for what, like two years? Yeah. It's been like. It's two, coming up on three years. Yeah, three. because. Yeah. Yeah, because so. we did three New Year's ago. Yeah. Two, year, two New Year's yeah. ago. So. Yep. Yeah, we're so we've got to be at least. Yeah, we, coming up on three years now all right uh doesn't matter you're back thank you uh it's funny you had a bourbon barrel because that's exactly what i had as a (laughs) bourbon barrel as well we're all going stouts tonight all going stouts tonight and uh this is by anderson valley in boonville california woohoo uh i'm gonna be honest california yeah yeah, and, I mean, uh, we want your honest opinion. I mean, if it's not if it's not top notch, I mean, you're allowed to say it's not top notch. In, so. in all honesty, it's 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 not like a terrible beer. It's def I've had way better and way stronger. Like I like my I like my yeah. my bourbon barrel stuff. I like that to be yeah. a little strong, like the 11s, the 12s, the yeah. 13s, and so on. But uh, it's 6.9 percent, so it's not like terrible, yeah. but yeah. it's. So it's like it's a, really smooth. Is it like a decent got, entry level bourbon barrel beer? 
Maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little higher, just a little. Okay. Okay. Maybe. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you, like, when I go into a beer and I want to buy it, and like it, it piques my interest. Like I almost have an expectation for it, and if it doesn't meet right. that expectation, then I'm so, totally honest with it. You know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. Like that was yeah. what I was drinking, and when I, when I brb'd, and got a beer. This is what I came back with, and this is actually my favorite beer of all time. I almost all bought time. some of that today. <laughs> I almost bought some. Yeah, favorite, it, like, golden lucky. Yeah. And I'm going to let you know right now, this little can is packed full of delicious 9.5%. It is really good. And uh, have you had the Sour Monkey? Because the Sour Monkey is like disgustingly good too. Delicious. I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know if they sell it's it around delicious. here. I might have to like order it or something. <clears throat> I don't know. They should. Yeah. I didn't it's see good. it when I went to the beer store. So, because like I was looking at it, um, I was looking at Golden Monkey, but I didn't see any Sour Monkey. So I don't yeah. know. And the Golden Monkeys, it's got like this, uh, it's got this crisp taste to it, like, and a nice, like, little kickback to it. Like, uh, it bites, it bites back just a little bit, but nothing like. Oh, yeah. It's not aggressive, but it is, it is really good. Yeah. It's strong, man. I'm going to tell you right now, like, six of these things, if I drank these, like, I used to drink Miller <laughs> Light back in the day, I'm done. I'm done. You would shit your pants. <laughs> I'm done after, like, You'd be yeah. done four. You would shit your pants. It, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, Probably won't be the last. <laughs> so, so Golden Monkey is Trapel. And normal, like, normal content for Trapel, like, is probably 9 to 11 to 12 percent. I mean, and then Quadrapel even gets up to, like, 14. Like, that's yeah. dumb. Don't and stop. and please drink responsibly. Like we, th- these aren't drink. These aren't beers that you go just go stone cold yeah. style and just start down and down your yeah. giggle hole. Like no, we, you we don't. don't no, you don't chug like, these beers. Like you enjoy them, no. or else you're gonna shit your pants because you're gonna be so overly yeah. drunk. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, you're gonna shit for you. It will. It will happen. <laughs> I promise. It will happen. I have. I have luckily never drank yeah. that much that I've shit my pants, but I'm. I've probably been close. Uh, I disagree with that. Yeah. Maybe not shit your pants. You have been worse, though. Oh, I have been, been worse. I've been aggressively worse, but I never shit my pants. I will give you, I've never shit my pants That's drunk. Crazy. I've never done that. <laughs> I know Christian's been worse. <laughs> Christian, I have been not worse. shit my pants. You didn't shit your pants, but you've been worse. I've never shit my you, pants. You have pissed all over a coffee pants. table. Um, I had to, <laughs> let's yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. We'll do a story time. Quick story time. Quick story time. (laughs) So mm, several, I'd say many. I'll say many is an accurate description. Many years ago, um, we were at a Halloween party. We're all dressed up and everybody's having fun. We're all having a great time and everybody's drinking and we're all enjoying ourselves. And then uh, I, I have a hard time remembering exactly what happened. But somebody got into an argument with Christine, and this motherfucker (laughs) started, he went outside, so a couple of us went outside to kind of figure out what's going on, find out what happened, why he's getting really upset, and granted, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly a sprinter, okay? I don't run very far. I can run fast. But it's for a very limited amount of time. <laughs> Neither is Christian unless he's drunk. Yeah, but apparently Christian turned into a white short U- Usain Bolt. There he goes. And he just takes off down oh. the road. So I, and I'm in my costume where I'm wearing like some military stuff. So I'm in steel-toed boots trying to run down the street. And there were several of us that started charging after him. Uh, when we guess. caught up to him. He was spouting off something. I have most of it was gibberish. And then these poor random two girls are walking by. He yeah. like sees them, makes this weird like growly noise, and then they start <laughs> running away. So yeah, it was like rah, like it was I don't know. But so I finally like get him like we kinda like get our hands on him. We're trying to calm him down and trying to like figure out what the hell he's so mad about. 
And like, so literally, I grabbed you. And I grabbed you from behind. And like, instincts kicked in. And I was like, I don't know what else to do. Bloop. And so I suplexed you into a fence. And that was like what called you, you down. You suplexed me into a fence? Yeah. And you're laying there. And it was like, it was that. like I barely did anything to you. You're just laying there going, what? I remember that. Yeah. Uh, do you do you remember what you were dressed up as that night, Jeff? I remember Christian. I, I know what I was and wearing. What I was wearing. What were you wearing? I was wearing my chem suit, <laughs> which was donated to me by the Navy because it was getting thrown out, and so I took it. So I was wearing my chem suit along with um, my steel toed boots, and was I wearing a mask then, or I think I was just I wearing I... a mask. I, can't I don't remember. remember. Do I know what, what Christian was wearing, and yeah. he yeah, apparently running shoes. <laughs> well, he dressed up as Ozzy Osbourne that night. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. And, and then he I got playing. Yeah, and I was playing. And then he got into an argument with uh, the guy who dressed up as Riddick from Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, who wants to fight with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he got mad. He got mad over some beer pong because yes. we were sinking them and shit but talking. We, were, we and... weren't playing. We weren't playing beer pong. That wasn't beer pong. We played that beer was, pong that we night. So we played. So, we played but that you, was I, SoCo I, 101 pong. Well, that was SoCo 101 pong. Like that was yeah, and that's I went okay. Back. That's <laughs> true. Whose that, fault that is that? Accurate. Whose but fault is somebody, that? somebody got <laughs> pissed so because there was some trash talking and some sinking with some balls, and yeah. that's what started that night. Yeah. Well, there is a long history of Christian losing to Josh and I yeah. in beer pong or whatever kind of pong you wanted to play. Horseshoes. We were good. Battleship. <laughs> we were good. Checkers. <laughs> Clue. Monopoly. Battleships. Sorry. <laughs> Uno, rock band. Uno, check rock, rock band. band. Oh, rock band. <laughs> we, had, oh, we had some yeah, awesome man. rock band jams that were pretty epic. <laughs> Airsoft yeah. battles. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that was full fledged. Hey, but let's not get too let's not get right. too off topic. Sorry. I know we're just kind of going off. And, we sorry, di- guys. We digress. <laughs> we do that. We digress. Back into the show. Yeah. All right. So, Christian, what right. kind of beer are you drinking? So, yeah, what are you drinking tonight? Uh. I'm not drinking any beer right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I am drinking clear wild cherry. I know. So I do. Uh, I do intermittent can we put fasting. A circle X over Christian's face right now, Jeff. Can we? Can we please do that? It's a big fail X. Man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I do intermittent fasting. So Look, at eight least... hours a day is when I'm allowed to eat. And I know I eat Add that to the 12, list. <laughs> or I intake calories. At least I did that. And I did that. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's funny. All right. <laughs> um. Well, then. Uh. What was um. Yeah. What was some other What's topics we were talking beer? about? Well, well, let's ask him what his favorite beer is. What's his favorite beer? So, so my favorite beer, or one that I like to talk about, um. Yes. Me personally, I is is El Guapo right off the bat. I know. I'm sorry, Josh. You don't like IPAs, but El Guapo is. Oh wait, yeah. I thought I thought it was yeah. like uh, El Guapo. Amazing. Now that's a double IPA, isn't it? No, 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 no. no. So they did come out with a uh, like um, Moy Guapo, but it's it's uh, just a single. Single El Guapo is uh, from O'Connor's Brewery Company in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I don't have the information off their uh, off their back right now, but I will be doing one of these shows with uh, one of their beers, and we'll talk a little bit more about them. Especially yeah, yeah. they're near and dear to my heart. We've you know they've been here for years, uh, and so have I. So, um, but yeah, they're killer. It's got it's an agave IPA, um, real fruity, real setup, and and I love it because it's perfect almost all year round. Uh, I would pair that beer uh, uh, with all day long, and and it's almost perfect how it's set up because we got fresh local shellfish and uh, to and, you know mahi mahi and, and everything around here, oh, so yeah. it's it's amazing. And um, 
yeah, if you get a chance to go to Norfolk, O'Connor's Brewery Company, check out El Guapo. It's got a little Hispanic guy with the sombrero on the label. It's killer. It's really good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, Josh, I feel like we've let and we've made everybody wait so long, especially for Jeff. So what I'm excited. is this story that happened this past oh. week? Jeff, I am ready. Jeff, are you ready? I are you ready, ready for this? I hope everybody else is ready for this. So totally this past Sunday. Totally ready. Oh, I, I'm ready. Spit so this past Sunday, spit talk. This is a spit talk. I'm going to call you out right now, you red feathered little fucker. It's a red cardinal that uh, could potentially be my new best friend or future yeah. fucking enemy. <laughs> I am interested already. I hope you are. And this little bastard, I'm going to tell you right now. So I went outside to have a cigarette and above me there's gutters and we just had this bad storm. So they're probably like full of shit. So this red cardinal was sitting over top of me out there smoking. Don't, Don't think, think anything, anything of it. it. I, I see, see like things fall in front of me. I just ignored it. Thought maybe the wind just took it. Well, then as I'm sitting there, took like a drag, I feel this drop and then another drop, drop. And I stopped and I stopped <laughs> and I want you to stop laughing right now because it's not funny. <laughs> 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 no. it's not funny it's not funny so but hold on hold on it gets better it gets better jeff hold on you don't even you haven't heard it so oh come on drop, drop, drop. i happen to look up and this cardinal who gave me this stupid little beady eyed look and he chirped at me and i looked down at my forearm again and realized that this thing just pissed on me he fucking full bledged like squirt pissed at me, and uh, oh, it gets better. That's not. Know. It's not the it's, end of it. It's not the end of it. That is good. Uh, that is good. What color was so, his pee? Like I gotta know. Like what color it, is a cardinal? It, it was pit? like this. Cl it was that. clear. It, like, it, 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 it looked like water. Place. I mean, it clear. But it had like this, like, uh, like just, weird feeling. It, Kind of sticky. It smell like blueberries. Odd, odd consistency. Cardinals. Did you taste it? What did it taste like? I didn't <laughs> taste it. I didn't, I didn't get that ballsy. It, <laughs> it was a bit fruity, a little it nutty, nutty but, aftertaste. Okay, but anyway, it doesn't it's matter really because bad. it gets better. This story gets <laughs> better. All Austin right. Powers. Yes. So I, I then like realized <laughs> what's going on in my brain clicked, and it was like, all right. You red feathered little fucker. I'm coming for you. So I stood up, and as I stood up, this this thing jumped around probably two, three times. Turned around, squawked at me. Why he's about ten foot and ten foot high, higher right. than I am. Squawked at me, shot his little ass around my way, and then he took a shit. <laughs> he took a shit. Literally about Yay far from my face on my deck. Uh, on my fucking deck. Uh, my I like it. I like I, this bird. He he tried to shit on me. So I got I got a little angry. I said, You little beady eyed bastard, and he flew away to the tree that's you know right over here. Mm -hmm. Big tree. It's it's what, maybe fifteen feet away? Yeah. Land, lands mm -hmm. in a little branch, looks at me again, does a couple squawks like ha, -ha wait till next time. <laughs> Fun fact, bird. Fun fact, you are in for a treat because I'm going to buy a birdhouse. I'm going to buy a dog collar. I'm going to shock the shit out of you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> a vendetta against a cardinal. <laughs> well, you know, you know, oh yeah. You know what? He's an asshole. You know so I'm going to give him I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He could actually be one of my best friends. You know what's kind of weird? On Sunday, I had a pickup on and this is Honest to God truth. I had to pick up up north, and I was bringing them down to Boston, bringing them down to the airport. And no lie, I'm sitting in their in their driveway on Sunday, the same day. And no lie, Cardinal landed in the bush next to my car, 
and I saw it, and I was like, "Wow, that is like a vibrant looking, girl. like just super." It was. It was a vibrant su- fucking bird. Like it was just super bright, like the uh, just a an intense red, and then it like flew across and went into the tree, and like it, and it just like I'm probably flew away. I'm sure, um, but that's like hilarious mm-hmm. that I would see that. Like that's. Was it? Well, I, I mean, almost, it wasn't in the morning though, because no, mine was in the morning. No, like, mine this was happened in the afternoon. Ten o'clock. Oh, no, mine was much later in the afternoon. But, hey, could have been the same bird. Maybe the bird just flew all the way up to here to be like, hey, I saw your buddy earlier. Tried to shit on him. (laughs) Definitely (laughs) pissed Trying to hit the whole crew. Dude, he did. He jumped around, squawked, and, like, had this precise aim. And it was literally just yay far in front of my feet. I was like, oh, you you motherfucker. It's great. It's perfect. I love That's this crazy. bird. You got to catch this bird, and you have to nickname him Jeff. Nope. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a little, a little prank wars with a cardinal, and I might luck out and get a couple squirrels in the, in the hey, long run. Fucking squirrels. I'm gonna load this fucking yeah, bird box up with delicious, like sunflowery treats. Just bird seed everywhere. I'm gonna let them get in it a couple times. Let them get comfortable. Let them feel at home, and I'm gonna zap his fucking ass one good time. There you go. And I'm going to get That's my cool. laugh and be like, ha-ha. And I hope you see that uh, fucking cardinal the same day. Hope you see him the same day. I hope so. And I hope he's a little roughed up, but fine. You know what? And I'm sorry, <laughs> PETA, if you think this is a problem. Awesome. Awesome. I don't, ag- I don't a- agree with uh, shady companies that do bad things but tell people they're not allowed to do bad things. I don't know. Exactly. Hashtag F you. <laughs> uh, All right. No, I... I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to shock him one yeah, good time so I get my laugh. Cause just let him know. Him. You're just going to let him know that this is your – that's your property. And, <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I might catch a squirrel or two because I think that's going to be funny. All right. Well, I think this uh, this ties up our, our episode. Um, no. No? You don't want to? What, what time are we on? How much time have we got we're like I mean, we're like about – probably close to 40 minutes now fuck yeah that's pretty we gotta do what ifs <laughs> we have to do the what ifs uh, we could do that on we the can, next we... one too all right let's do that on the next we one do we'll, do, we'll do black ops and yeah. what ifs all right yeah all right yeah, so maybe. folks all right thanks again for watching we definitely appreciate all the love yes. and support we've been getting uh it again like i probably use this word too much but it is incredibly awesome just the the views and we want to see those comments so if you again like if you want to see us try a beer then let us know what kind of beer you want us to try uh we'll try pretty much anything uh you know i mean why not give everything a try and what and what me and jeff won't try christian surely will definitely like if it's like a poop beer christian will definitely try a poop beer christian's on it (laughs) I will definitely try a poop beer. You cannot <laughs> stop me from not trying. They're <laughs> gonna start sending you shit in the bottom. Tastes like shit. Here, try this. <laughs> this is my piece of shit. It's a great beer. <laughs> All, All right. right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. This is the Dark Horse Experience. We are out. Deuces, gooses. Peace. <laughs>